here in downtown Houston, Texas, with temperatures in the mid-70s. And we're underway. And that is strike one. Brian Farber. One for four yesterday. Farber skies one. Deep right field. How about that way to begin the game? A home run in the college classic. Farber sends one over the right field fence. And the Bobcats strike first. Well, how about that for Ryan Farber? He has uh, been called by his coach. Almost superhuman at times. The freshman is off to a tremendous start in his collegiate career. How about the start today for the Bobcats from Texas State? College baseball event. And there's been a lot of competition in recent years. There's a ground ball in the right for a base hit. Powell gets one by Mora. First Texas single this afternoon. I got him. I sure did. A decent fall, but he is off to a great start this spring. Another play for Lugo. He went to go to the back, and he slipped, and he made the tag. He did not, and immediately wants a replay. He was trying to tag him on the backpack. Watch, he misses him here, but as this play continues, I think he lands with that glove on this leg right here before that hand gets to the base. Yeah, and that's where Doug Williams possibly. He's a <laughs> and the inning ends. That's a good usage of replay, though. That's why we have it. No doubt. Just get it right. University. It's also the rearview mirror for our alumni. They want to get excited about this. a good hit. There's Pena with a laser beam to left. He had the home run yesterday that tied up the game late. And can I understand that? I mean, there's a lot of people that believe athletics is what. And uh, what's really cool is, you know, when you start to have these winnings, the alumni get excited. They just say, yeah, a couple of base runners now. He looked like me running down the line there. <laughs> he made it. But it took a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah by yeah, athletic yeah, true. Rights, right? That, that is the reality of the yeah, college sports. Well, Hurley just threw one away, and that's going to mean an advancement for Pena. He's going to go from second to third, and things really going well since. Uh, Coaching staff, it's their players, it's the record. Here we go. We're going to have a play at the plate. There was a bobble. There was a flip. Nobody home. And how about that? The Bobcats have taken a 2 nothing lead on a bit of a comedy there from the Longhorns in these last few sequences. Walked out there, and that's how I ended up coming to, to Texas. How about that? That's an amazing yeah. story. story. And I, I was afraid to come by myself, so I talked to my best friend, and uh, <laughs> it just snuck over, and it counts. Well, there's ball four. There's ball he four. had a premonition. <laughs> <laughs> Ed was aquifer, and uh, it's crystal clear, and the kids love being there. Well, you don't want to get out, right? Yes. Well, and he does it. Yeah, he generates a lot of bat speed. That ball, lace to the gap, left center that's field, score, back son. towards the wall. That and is Bob gone. will score on a grand slam from Chase Mora. He won the game yesterday in the 10th. Connects for a grand slam in the second inning this afternoon, and it has been all Bobcats. Yeah, Chase had a slow start to the year. He didn't hit a home run for a couple of series, but he figured it out. He's back. <laughs> Well, that's the guy you put in the lineup because when he does figure it out, it just comes in bunches, right? Two days in a row. Yesterday, the game winner against Houston. Today, the grand slam for Chase Moore. Bobcats had a five-run second. That's a swing and a miss, but Ballou might reach. That ball just keeps trickling away from Bernal. That's a strikeout wild pitch. Casey Borba chops one to shore. Powell's got it, flips to second for one. Little double clutch, high throw, but still they get the double play. It was tailor-made until that bobble and the throw, but the Bobcats still turn it. But the thought is, you've got to play well and, or you're in trouble. And the Longhorns not playing well so far. Sanders takes strike three. Stroud able to get the K. And, and that is ball four to D. Kennedy. So the Longhorns need base runners, and maybe that's the start. Orba and Ballou in the, in the lineup. Nick Sanders, D. Kennedy get the chance today. So it's a uh, far third base side of the rubber. Needs a strike here and doesn't get it. That's three free base runners, two walks, and an HBP to load them up for the heart of the lineup. You just can't do that with this lineup. Got under that too much, should provide a run. That ball's going to carry out towards Farber. He will make the catch. Kennedy is going to tag and score the first run. Going to third base is Thomas, and Texas is on the board, albeit with a sack fly. So now Bernal setting up off that outside corner, and that pitch will be tapped into no man's land, maybe. Stroud has one play, and he airmails it down the line and right. It's going to score a run, and maybe two. Powell will slam on the brakes at third base. 
Well, Stroud got there quickly. Long gone rivalries, right? He'll write a book. Might get a sack fly here. In the air to Farber. Powell is going to attack from third. The throw goes towards third wisely. That's three runs without a hit this inning for the Longhorns to cut this deficit in half. Just did another hit by pitch. And the free base runners continue. And Texas really in a position now, Pat. One big swing. They have tied this game. Three runs have come across this inning for the Longhorns. And that will end it. Three runs without a hit. C does get the K to strand two more. Patino before the grand slam. Yeah, that kind of set the stage there. There's a base hit in the left field by Powell. Good beginning to the Texas State fourth inning. Brings up Chris Bernal. Got him. Well, it looks like it was going to go through it. Harrison will cover the third baseline, but not this time. Smashed up the middle, off the mound, into center. Farber's knocked home another. Powell will come home to score, and it's a 7-3 game. And the ball rolls away, but no further advancement. Brian Farber's having a day. Pat, this freshman is uh, going to do some damage this year. Soft little flare that'll be caught by the shortstop Flores. Producing a high average. That's a good point. We brag it on him, and then he goes down on strikes. But give Bain credit. He's gotten a soft line out. Now gets the K. In the fourth inning for Texas State. Trying to go through the heart of the lineup. Two, three, and four. Soft line out. Strike out. Strike out. He strands two. Nice job for Bain. Kalen Graham with a clean inning in the fourth. Only giving up the single. Jalen Flores. Rockets one to left. Back to the wall. five on the season that was a missile to the home run concourse area it's still rolling it's a 7-4 game so we talked about the turnaround that Jalen Forrest has had this season and it just continues his fifth home run from year one to year two it's Porter Brown waves and misses came up empty and that's a strikeout from Graham it's a different level of game and it takes some adjustment well, that pitch has got a little funk to it as well. At high school level, where you might see one guy throwing 90 plus, that ball's bolted. Ballou, back to right, off the facade of the second deck. That was a titanic solo homer. The second long ball of the inning for the Texas Longhorns. We've got ourselves a two-run game. Wow. <laughs> That's the third of the year for Ballou. That ball that was for facing, yeah, facing of the second deck. That was a monster home run for Ballou, and nicely done, Max. Yes. Max Ballou would like you to get your season tickets. There's a liner that is a fair. Oh boy, that not sure about that at all. Casey Borba's got himself a double. Well, tipped off the glove of Lugo, but I swear he was in foul territory. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah. Now. Well, here's the replay from left field. Yeah, Borba was kind of standing there thinking that's maybe foul and. Oh, no, maybe it did go off the glove. I think it did hit the glove. Wave it a miss. And the inning ends. To a better mid-major opportunity. And he's got himself a base hit there. So 15th of the year for Patino. Two-out single in the center field. And I believe Bame's going to throw it again. Boy, spiked that one. He got some RPMs working. But Patino will advance to second. Spike that one to the screen. Three and two. Moral waiting. Hard hit, base hit. That's another run for Texas State. And another RBI for Chase Mora. That's five this afternoon. From Bain is on the way. There's the breaking ball, wave to miss, and it ends the inning. Well, does he throw it again? One too many times. Stroke down in the right center field. Thomas, he's not going to stop on his way to second. The throw is offline. It was cut. And Thomas has a one-out double. Square those shoulders up. Keep it right out in front. Especially with the runner at third. Little tapper in front of the plate. Now he has to make the play. Good throw to first ends the inning. And the Longhorns will strand a runner at third base. Smoked in the left for a base hit. Yeah, that kill pitch has been hard to come by. 
Laced to the gap in right center field. That's trouble. It's going to roll all the way to the bullpen. It's going to score a run and watch Ballou go. He's heading to third, starting to run out of gas, but he'll round third base at home. A run scoring triple. It's a two-run game. Tell you what, a faster runner, we might have had a consideration of sending it. Yeah, that's uh, the outfield positioning of Farber in center. He was actually pulled over towards left. And now he's trying to pick up Ballou from third. He's there with one out, and he'll take ball four. So, that ball ripped to right. Oh, God, with a pinch hit. Three run homer. And the Longhorns have taken their first lead of the game. I just got done saying maybe you get a big swing to flip your season. O'Dowd may have done just that. Well, he knew it when he hit it. That ball was crushed. Into the right field bleachers and no question about it. Huge three-run home run for... Jack go down, and the Longhorns with their first lead of the game. That is three home runs for Texas. 337 a year ago, 17 doubles, rolls that one up the middle. It's got eyes, it'll find its way into center. What the Bobcats needed, leadoff base runner here in the eighth inning. That's a good bunt. Feel a little bit worn, and sure-footed Grubbs able to make that play and steady himself. Far Farber. Lays to left center field. It's down for a base hit. Here comes Powell around third. The throw home is offline. We are tied at nine. Ryan Farber does it again. Another hit. Another run batted in. And this young kid's having quite a start to his college campaign. Ground ball to second. And the horns aren't going to get two. They aren't going to get anything. And no further advancement after that botched double play in E4. And now this inning can really start to climb for Texas State. Runners go. Throw to third. It's going to be not in time to get Farber. Batting gloves or that oven mitt. And I think it's maybe a little bit easier to see it on the base. The question is, is there a tell boy? I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's close. That is something. Here's our decision. He's out. It's more or not. They go after him. And he'll swing and miss. This inning turned in a hurry. That ball hit high in the air. Deep right field. When this one lands, the Longhorns have the lead. What a titanic shot from Porter Brown. I'm not sure that ball ever descended. Did it ever come down? Man. And another home run for Texas and the Longhorns lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oh, my. Well. Right on cue, Brett. We said it might be a home run that wins it. Will that be it? Porter Brown. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see the exit deal on that swing. One ball, two strikes to the pinch hitter. Galloway strokes one to center. Thomas there waiting. One gone, ninth inning. That's down the middle. Strike three called. Hard hit. Base hit, and the game will continue. The tying run is on base with two outs in the ninth for Texas State. He drives one to left towards the Crawford boxes. Goodbye! Down to their final out. Texas State does it again. Yesterday, a ninth inning homer to tie and an extra inning homer to win. And Lugo with a two-run shot put Texas State back in front. Goodness, the twists and turns we've seen in this game. Well, Brett, all you can say at this moment is, are you kidding me? Oh, my, Aaron Lugo. Two days in a row, the Bobcats, by way of two run homers, have now taken a lead on the horns 11 to 10. What a swing by Lugo. He's blowing bubbles as he hit that home run. Are you kidding me? And yet it's the Bobcats with another homer in the ninth inning to take the lead. And a ground ball to Flores, and that will end the inning. Next pitch to Ballou. Bouncer to the left side. The shift was on. How about Lugo going far to his left wow. to make the play? He was the only infielder on the left side of the diamond. 
See some greatness left in this Longhorn lineup, and that's, that's not going to help. Yeah. That's a strikeout. And listen to these Texas State fans. They're not away from taking down the Longhorns. Here it comes. Wave and a miss. Ball game. And the Bobcats celebrate a wild 11-10 victory over the Texas Longhorns. Not what a game. Oh, man.